Hey you guys, so I just had a really interesting experience that I had to share. Um, I kind of got accused of being a shoplifter, which is interesting because I haven't been accused of something like that. I don't even know when. So I was, uh, I went and got a facial done and granted I do look like an unmade bed right now. Um, but as I was leaving the spa, there's a store, a clothing store, and I thought, oh, let me stop by and see what they have. And so I found some things that were interesting. and. As I was going into the dressing room, the, the owner stopped me and he goes, uh, could you leave all of your, your shopping bag and your, your backpack uh, outside of the, uh, <laughs> the dressing room? I'm like, um, okay, why? And he said, well, I just think it would be safer that way. So to me, I'm like, okay, I don't even have to ask why, right? Duh. So I did what he asked and then I went into the dressing room and I paused because I felt my heart rate... Um, speed up I felt my palms getting sweaty and I really felt like I was getting ready to be a reckless bitch on his ass and I caught myself right because reckless reacts responsible responds so I pondered and I thought okay you got to just chill get in his world and I thought okay this guy makes a living running this shop I have no idea what it's like every day of my life to have to be afraid of someone stealing from me like that's what he lives with every day who's gonna steal who's not gonna steal and I suddenly had so much compassion for him and um, I'm happy because otherwise I would have walked out and missed out on some really great items that I got but I just got into a place of compassion and I tried on what I had to try on as I was trying on the clothes he's like oh how, do, how, do, how does that red jumpsuit look on you so clearly he was looking underneath just still watching me and I thought, oh boy, he must really be afraid of being stolen from. He's probably stolen from a lot. And then I just felt even more sorry for him. Long story short, I walked out, bought my purchases to the counter, and just gave him a really warm smile. And he couldn't believe I was buying so much stuff. And he said, wow, you're like my best customer I've had all day. And I said, oh, that's wonderful. And you know, just being really cool about it. And then he just felt, I can tell he felt really bad. So he just kept complimenting me and you know, you've got good taste, you picked out good stuff. And long story even shorter, it was just a really valuable experience on what it's like to get into someone else's world and to take the high road whenever you can because the high road is always the best road. And when I left, he said, uh, wait a minute, I wanna give you these. And it was a pair of sunglasses that he saw I was looking at and I didn't buy. He goes, I could tell you really like them. And I was like, yeah, I really did. The only reason why I didn't buy them is because I have like five pair just like it, but not exactly. Um, but anyway, he gave them to me and I said, thank you. And I thought it was just a really great experience on the difference between being reckless with your feelings and being responsible. There you have it. Okay, high road is always the best road. Even when you look like an unmade bed.